think I think that what they're looking for in some degree, whether it's being a little bit smarter or being taller or having more money is dominance. Women like the idea of being dominated in one way or another. Mm -hmm. When the lovely young lady, what's your name? Sorry, Jade. Jade. When Jade was talking about spiritually, that's just dick. <laughs> That's all that <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. You give you, you fuck a girl right. You support her spiritually. You 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 you, you, no. so, you fuck it up. This is different. That's all that. I, I really no. truly believe that's what what you're talking about. No. You disagree? Spir Go ahead. Spiritual connection. Disagree. It's hard to have. A, it's hard to have a spiritual connection with somebody you don't have a, a sexual connection with. Would you agree with that? No. 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 I have a lot of spiritual connections with people I have had never been with intimately. Well, so. I'll tell you something. My chick ain't having no spiritual connections with nobody. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, well, I, we, we can disagree on that point. But um, the rest of it, I think, is, yeah, it's fairly true. I think that women like to be dominated in one form or another. And uh, they like looking up to a man and respecting a man. Women aren't going to love a man they don't respect. And you're only going to respect somebody you, in some degree, see as your superior in certain fields. So I think it's pretty fair. So, Andrew, what do you look for in a woman? That's a good question. It depends, man. It also depends because what I'm, I'm going to give an answer now, and it's not the same thing that most men would be looking for. Right. There's a lot of men who are looking for very particular things in women, and they're not the things I'm looking for. Right. Personally, me as an individual, I am absolutely self-made in every regard, and I've never needed a woman to tell me to put the video games down or go to the gym or make money. Mm -hmm. I do not need to be looked after. I do not need to be babied. If I meet a woman today, I've done every, absolutely everything fantastic in my life I've done by myself. So without disrespect, without misogyny, no. I don't want advice. I don't need to be told what to fucking do, right? I know exactly what to do, and my life is testament to that. What I do want is sunshine and rainbows and a stressful existence. That's what I want. I want to come home dealing with all the bullshit I've dealt Peace. with, and I want her to be happy. I don't want her saying, well, I, I got stressed too. Stress. Fucking, you don't know about stress. No one's trying to kill you. Shut up. <laughs> you don't know what stress is. You don't know what stress is. So what I want is sunshine and rainbows and a happy life. That's all I really want. You'd be amazed how easy men are to please. Mm. It's hard to be a man. Women don't appreciate how difficult it is to be a man of ambition. It's easy to be a man who ain't shit, but you probably ain't fucking with a man who ain't shit. If you're fucking with a man who's important, his life is hard. Mm. It's extremely competitive. Males are ultra competitive. He needs to come home and you need to provide happiness and peace. If you can do those things, it's very rare you're going to lose him. It's that simple, but you'll get upset over some dumb shit. He likes some bitch's picture and you'll destroy all the happiness and peace for a week over some Instagram post, some dumb shit. And then you're going to wonder why, oh, you know, we're having bigger troubles that uh, it's actually extremely easy to please men. If you're beautiful and you're happy and you smile, you don't stress me too much. You understand I've got to do what I got to do. Easy peasy. That's it. <laughs> Ladies, um, disagreed with with the uh, the spirituality thing. So uh, tell me a little bit about it. you 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 could go first, and I saw some other girls disagree with the spirituality thing because I agree with Andrew that you ain't gonna be spiritual spiritual with someone unless you're like smashing them to some degree. I, I laugh at this whole spirituality thing anyway. But what is what's your take on it? What's your okay? I mean, what do you mean? Well, I'm just confused why it has to be a sexual thing. Because that's how men and women connect deepest. Yes. That's, that's not how many... necessarily. Not everybody is programmed the same. So for me, uh, <laughs> mentally, I must be stimulated in order to be attracted to somebody. Of course. So if I'm not mentally stimulated in a situation where only sex is involved, I'm very easily unattracted to somebody. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. But so, I... Sorry, Carol. Go ahead. Would you agree that the deepest connections you've ever had with a man involve sex? Would you agree with that no. obvious point? You're no. telling me that there's men out there that you've connected with deeper than the, all the men you've slept with, and you've never slept with them. Yes. That's a lie. Where's the hat? It, <laughs> no. yeah. it happens. You know, it does. I, mean, be, I have people in my life who have become like family. They're like brothers. They're it, like father oh, figures. Oh, it happens. You friend zone a bunch of dudes. <laughs> that's you, nice. You don't but have to sleep with everybody brothers. you meet. That's, 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 true. that's different than true deep connection. If you have a true, How do you know that I friend zone them? <clears throat> because you, what just, if they you have... just said they're like brothers. Yeah, yeah, but what brothers. if they're in a relationship? <laughs> but what if I'm like a sister? Already. One at a time, one at a time, ladies. One at a time. What if I'm also like a sister? What if they have a wife? What if they have a girlfriend? Because no man's You're basing that off of an assumption. No man's talking to you because he wants you to be a sister. That's not why he's talking to you. I'm just telling you the truth. Maybe not the men that you know. No. but i do know men who actually value my presence and what i bring to the tame table so you know it's actually interesting when i have this discussion a lot of girls get upset because they think well what about my personality they don't value me for anything outside of sex what about my personality etc i'm just telling you and i'm telling you in a very kind way i'm telling you the absolute truth i am a man i understand the masculine imperative my dear 
If you're 400 pounds, they wouldn't talk to you. <laughs> so you can talk all the shit. You can talk all the shit you want. That may be but that's true. the reality. They're talking to you because of how you look. They got friend zoned. Now they'll be like, you're like my sister. Hoping no, to no. Want, because that's what happened. That's, that's the truth the about men. Is, you never though. see some bitch who's fat and ugly with a bunch of men trying to be her brother. It's garbage, right? This is the reality. This is why any man who's serious about his relationship doesn't let his chick run around with a bunch of male friends. Comrade, it's not I can real. agree. I will not ever be friends with a woman. <laughs> not it's not real. It's, it's not real. And when we talk about spiritual connections, I understand what you're saying. I've had spiritual connections with women. I know what it's like when your soul and their soul and you feel like they're intertwined. And you understand mm. well, you can understand each other by looking at each other without saying a word. I understand spiritual about. connections, <laughs> but it, but sex is 99% of the time involved. No, the no. idea that you're going to say you're out here with deep spiritual connections, dudes who are like your brothers, you've never slept with, and they have no intention of ever sleeping with you, and has nothing to do with how you look, First is fantasy, all, is fallacy, it it's far, not real. Though. We can ask the chat, see what the chat says. Well, I, mean, I agree. Oh, no, I don't have any platonic friends. <laughs> we could talk about... <laughs> <laughs> Where are the different hats coming from? <laughs> <laughs> it's a I'm, <laughs> Is there another I'm not talking about a spiritual connection sexually at all. When I talk about a spiritual connection, I mean somebody that really helps me to develop as a woman. So there are a number of things that I have experienced as any person can attest to growing up, whether it's mentally, physically, from your family, whatever the case may be. Yeah. And we don't sometimes understand what those things are because we if you grow up in an environment where that shit is normal mm -hmm. it doesn't make sense and so to try to figure those things out and go on a journey through self and to have people around you that help you discover yes who you are and heal mm -hmm. those things yeah. yes. that is more so what i mean by a spiritual connection where you have helped me to develop just to be the best woman that I can be. No Perfect. strings attached. Perfect. And I'm just going to ask you a question, and I would like you to be as honest as possible. Mm. Okay. Do all the girls who are 500 pounds who have trouble in their lives, do they have a bunch of guys trying to help them on their spiritual journey? Oh. Yes or no? I don't know because I don't well, the know. The answer is fucking no. So <laughs> there. <laughs> nope. The answer is no. It's because of how you look. You need to accept that. I'm not, saying, I'm not saying you're not smart. I'm not saying you don't provide value. I'm not saying those things. I'm saying the initial attraction, the reason they at least first talk to you, the reason they sit there on that first ever interaction and have any kind of conversation with you is because of how you look. That, may be that is case. why. And for which that, means, I'm grateful good, because good. thank God for that. Otherwise, I would have not have made the connections that I have. Cool. Which means their friendship is never going to be completely and utterly pure because they start talking to you because of how you look. Exactly. They judge you on how you look. How you look will always have a part to play. And I'm not saying that they're not, they don't care about you and they're not their friend. You're a friend. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying they entered the relationship and the scenario with a different intention in mind. That is why mm -hmm. it's absolutely not crazy on any level if you have a man for him to say, no, you're not talking to those dudes. They're not your friends. They want to fuck you at some point. Now they think they can't. They're talking other shit. Men fucking lie. Women fall in love with, men fall in love with what they see. So women wear makeup. And men fall in love with what? Oh, fuck that one. I got you. I got that. you. Women. Men fall in love with what they see, and women fall in love with what they hear. That's why Bang. women wear makeup and men lie. Bang. Got Thank you, baby. You. This is why I need Myra on here. First, yeah. My first ever mistake on a podcast. <laughs> 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 no, no, we literally think the same. That's yeah. my ninja. No, but so. it's true. Next no, but, but it's really, really, really true. And and a lot of women label it as insecurity, right? They say, oh, you're insecure because you don't let me hang around with all these dudes and all oh, this bullshit. It's nothing to do with insecurity. Oh, yeah, you. It's territorialism and it's normal. And if you have a man and he's your boyfriend and you, if you, if I was your man and you start talking to me about these spiritual connections with all these fucking dudes, I'd be like, look, you got to make a choice. <laughs> it's, me or, it's me or them. It's me or them. You're not walking around having spiritual connections with fucking you can't Ron, John them. and Jeremy. <laughs> no way. I don't want, I don't want that in a chick. You can't, you can't, can't tell them. For you. Absolutely, she's and not for me. Fine. You nailed it. Absolutely, she's, she's for the not streets. For me. She belongs to the streets. <laughs> no, 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 no. The streets are always going to be there, so you yeah. might as well just. No, but you, you made an important point that I actually agree with. If if I were to date a woman and she were to say, "Look, I value the relationships with these random dudes more than I value my relationship but why with you." Why are they random? Okay. What if I they've value, been around for ten? Years? I value the relationship with them, other men, more than I value the relationship with you. If a chick said that to me, then yeah, absolutely, I'd bounce. A, a what completely, if she made I'd a bounce. point to make you comfortable? I don't, it's not about comfortable because and you're make sure that her friendships were not necessarily put before you, but she was still able to maintain those relationships that she had prior, maybe years and years before ever meeting you. I'll tell you why you're that wrong. That isn't. I'll, I'll tell, no, no, you made a good point. I'll tell you why you're wrong on two points. One, you said the word comfortable, which implies insecurity. We're not talking about insecurity. We're talking about territorial. I'm not insecure or jealous. I'm territorial. I enjoy the fact that the woman is only mine. I enjoy the fact men look at her and can't talk to her. I enjoy that. That's a benefit. I want that. 
I don't give a shit about jealousy. So this is nothing to do with comfortable. I can be comfortable already. I still don't want it. That's the first <laughs> thing. The second thing, if these men were truly, truly your friend, they'd say, oh, you got a man now. Safe. If you break up, message me. Otherwise, cool. Be with your man. If they're really your friend, they shouldn't have a problem with that. But they're going to be like, oh, you're going to stop talking to me because of him. I thought we were cool for 10 years because they want to keep a finger in the pie. That's just bullshit. Man. I'll be honest. And I don't want to double down too much on what Andrew says, but I've said this many times on the podcast. Ladies, no man wants to hang out with you because of your presence or because of your because you're a girl. The only reason men tolerate and or deal with you is for sexual access 99% of the time. That's true. I, I, I'm just going to be 1000% honest. When a guy hangs out with you, <laughs> his ultimate goal and his ulterior motive is to get sexual access at some point, whether he's upfront about it and says, I want to smash right now, or he waits five years down the road when you're no longer as attractive and he tries to shoot a shot. The guy is always dealing with you for sexual <laughs> access. There's very few benefits that men get from being platonic friends with a woman. However, there are a lot of benefits that a woman gets from being a platonic friend with a man. You get that masculine energy. You get the leadership. You get the confidence. You get the protection, etc. You get the food. And you get the bills. Exactly. <laughs> so, so men don't really benefit from being in the friend zone with a woman, but women definitely benefit from being in the friend zone with a man. And here's another thing. I'll take it a step further. Most women that I've interviewed, hundreds of them at this point, have always told me I prefer male friends over female friends. Let's peel up that back layer. Why? Well, because men offer utility. Men have to provide value. That's just the world we live in. You cannot be a guy and be useless and exist. <laughs> You're going to either either be made fun of, ostracized, or live with your mom, and no one's going to respect you. Men must provide utility. Women, however, they all just be pretty and show up, and you're going to be able to you know, rub elbows with millionaires, celebrities, etc. Women are born with their value. Men have to create their value. So when a woman aligns herself with a man, platonically, it's a win-win. You're telling me this guy's going to hang out with me, give me attention, tell me I'm pretty? Potentially pay for some things here and there. Spiritual. Give me that masculine energy. Give me that spirituality. And <laughs> yep. I don't got to fuck him. Yep. Oh, Lord. I'll take, is, that. I'll take I'll it. I'll what are you that. talking about? That sounds great. Yeah. Of course. I'm going to run around saying I got all these spiritual guys. Yeah, yeah. I love I it. Like, what what you mean, that's your, but that's why you're defending it. And, I, and, 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 and I'm being honest with you. I'm, there's I'm, nothing wrong with it. That's tight. There's nothing wrong with it for you. But if I was to get with a girl and I was to take that kind of girl seriously, it doesn't matter if we're just fucking, right? But if we're going to be a serious relationship and we're going to progress into something serious, all those dudes hanging around, you're going to have to go out of respect for me. Listen, I don't I don't care how good the locks on my Lamborghini are. If I see a bunch of dudes trying to break in, I'm going to walk out there and say, get the fuck away from my car. That's all it is. It's a territorial thing. It's nothing to do with jealousy. It's nothing to do with insecurity. If I love a woman with all my heart, I don't want a bunch of dudes orbiting around her. Why would I? Can I, and, and, if, if I and if a woman says to me, look, that matters to me <laughs> so much. <laughs> Those men matter to me so much. I'll make you feel comfortable and I'll that, but I have to talk to these dudes. It's cool. I'll fuck you and I won't take you seriously. That's all that's going to happen. And just add another point here as what well. What if we don't take Jane. you seriously either? Because and she had a oh, that would be devastating. Yeah. Jane, oh. Think of what it is, right? At some point, right? If the guy said to you, you know what? This isn't going to work out. I'm going to leave. But I have love for you. What would you say? The guy I'm dating or guys that are friends? Guys that are, that are your friends. I would respect it. It is what okay. it is. So put it people in come and people reverse go. now, right? They want you, mm -hmm. but they can't have you. Mm -hmm. So they're waiting for a chance mm -hmm. to sneak into that back door, whatever, to get you. Mm -hmm. Is that your friend? Honestly um, speaking, is that your friend? So you mean <laughs> there's an ulterior motive that has not been communicated, yep. obviously, mm -hmm. and they're just waiting. So is that your, your real friend? Um, Be honest here. Come on, Jay. Hmm. <laughs> I think that people, <laughs> different people provide different things yes or no so <laughs> <laughs> fresh is coming in hard whether or not they are yeah. really doesn't matter because as Bruh. long as we are both uh benefiting from the situation or benefiting from the friendship whether it's real or not why does it matter listen you're winning it regardless i'm just saying yes or no Okay. Uh, All right. No. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, I did, here's the thing. No, here's but... the thing. She knows the you. You said you give give guys advice, right, on dating. Yeah. So then you understand how much of a <laughs> fuck up it is to be friends with a girl, getting friend zoned. No. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> so. Uh, oh. Okay. Because the thing is, this man, men don't benefit from being platonic friends with women. 